it's uh, my birthday. Keep waiting to feel grown up and uh, wise, but uh, I've hit 60 and it still hasn't happened, so figure that waits for heaven then. Uh, having a blast on this just woodworking phase of the project and want to take a little break and start on our fourth thwart. This will be the guy that goes in here and then give us what we need to really plan out the new side bench thing which I haven't done before and, and the legs underneath it. A lot of questions about that. I'd wanted to use this wide stuff for um, the stern thwart to maximize the amount of flotation we can get back here but uh, the leftover piece of the wide bit is not long enough even that's not long enough <clears throat> and I knew I needed new some Pele anyway so we got two boards here and they're narrower they'll be wide enough for the dagger board and for the rudder which is good and it's just fine for this our fourth thwart I'm probably going to have to two-piece biscuit join uh, to get a wide piece back there. And uh, we can use uh, this cutoff, I think, for the R1 thwart that the mast goes through. Anyway, we get a start on R4 thwart. Two boards, this is beautiful straight stuff, really good for dagger board rudder, and that is really cool looking grain. I'm going to take that end of the board and make our four thwart out of it. Yeah, you're going to need the thickness planer. I don't want to take it down to three quarters like the other one anyway, so that's fine. A little crack on this side that's bigger on this side. So. Run a little long in this initial cutoff, and then we can thickness plane it, edge it, and uh, zero in on the actual. points and take our measurements and not screw it up. Everything about the fit except just a little too long, which means it's too high to exactly continue that plane. So I'm going to remove a sixteenth at each edge and leave everything else as is. Now we've got to carve the lead ends for the side bench here as well. I think we'll just retain that 12 inch in from the edge of the boat. Thank you. 
Uh, I'm having some trouble on this particular piece of wood with tear out, even though I'm easing into it with the router, it's blowing pieces out of there, so I think it's better, even though it won't be quite as clean, to do a preemptive cut with the table saw. I need to move on to uh, figuring out how to make these side benches and that means making the supports. I'm not ready to glue anything in yet, <clears throat> but I think what I need to do is screw this in at uh, R2 and R4 and that way I can establish the heights. I'm going to build some little supports underneath the other corners of this system. Come on, I'm going to have to buy some half inch plywood. I could get one of those side benches out of this. That's too bad. If I had not had to make two transoms and two stems, I might have had enough to get it all out of one sheet of uh, plywood. But not a whole lot of money. You know, they're 48 bucks. Countersink it. And these, I think, I will leave in the boat. Stainless, with stainless in there. <laughs> Got a screw here, screw there, broken one here, and one there. But that will give us uh, our reference point, and I can make the legs. We need a total of eight of these little posts holding up the other edges of the thwarts, and they range from 8 inches to 12 inches each. And I think I can get them all like this just for convenience. One more sheet of half inch birch. Figure out where to make it. Put some protective tape again around the daggerboard trunk. And I want to basically install the R2 thwart, the R4 thwart. Take a little lunch break and try to move the project along here a little bit. Yesterday not only got the thwarts installed, but uh, a nasty round of putty, caulking. And um, there's your icing container from hell now. Uh, I bought a sheet of half inch birch. And what I think we're gonna do is make a rectangle. Determine that uh, the Max curve here is basically an inch. Remeasure that. We know that this comes out 12 inches. So if we make, uh, say, 14 by a little bit long, we can lay this up and uh, run an offset line to get our curve and reflect that back out here. Try to set that in. So what I'm leaning toward doing is a very thin facing strip across the front of it into Pele. Uh, and even rather than putting structural legs to, to carry the weight across there, just put one by twos fastened underneath it that span and come across to the thwarts as well. These one by twos would notch underneath the thwarts. And I think that that would be plenty strong so this facing could be decorative only. No need to brace it against the hole back here either.
So I've cleaned that up with the plane and done enough of the bevel back here so that it sits. This technique's called spiling, where you have a fixed. It's probably better. Since I'm cutting at a curve, it's one more reason to get as much much of the blade up as possible. The cutting surface will help steer a little bit more. Now we need to translate that line curve out. All right, do the other side same way. Once this facing piece is on, we can finish that. Got our edge set down in. That should give us a better, more. Say hi. It's the tape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay. He's always like that. So I've decided I'm going to make two braces. One, uh, the forward set where most of the weight will come from uh, this select. One by two is a leftover piece from uh, the stringers and an extra eight footer. And we'll just notch in so that they sit. Uh, up underneath the plywood side seat. Well, we want a couple of screws coming up to hold these underneath the thwarts. And we need a half inch uh, into the seat. We don't want it to come through. I'm going to leave these in. They're stainless. Uh, so glue and screw. So I'm going to countersink down a half inch. So we'll set this pocket screw countersink guy for a half inch depth for these two and put that on the drill press. Uh, I'm going to be gluing some things including uh, to install those braces. So some other items we could glue while we have epoxy mix up are these facing pieces of pale across the ends of the dagger board trunk. So we go ahead and make them 